Hi everyone, this is Fitch the Hedgehog and welcome to this video. I'm here with my uh, Hansa wolf, which I named Horizon, and this is a standing one. Now don't ask me which other wolves that Hansa have made. This is like my only Hansa plush, so I can't tell you so much about their assortments. Um, mostly I'm not really so much of a Hansa fan because I think plush should be in a certain way affordable. And when it comes on that point, I think Hansa doesn't really do so well. So yes, they look quite detailed, but on some points, they just can, yeah, finish the look in the eyes of the animal sometimes a bit more. Uh, like for example, this wolf, well, he has a bunny face. Just give him long ears and it looks exactly like a bunny. So this is actually my point. Hansa plush are real nature portraits. Yes, they are. But they are so expensive, and uh, on some points, I think they can do, yeah, they can just um, improve their finishings. Now, anyway, in this video, I would like to uh, to show a very exciting little package, which which will also contain a Hansa plush. I was finally able to collect a Hansa pygmy hedgehog, and well, I know there are a few versions of it. Um, and I'm just, yeah, well, just wait till I show you this one. Uh, I thought this one was really neat. And um, so I'm quite excited to see what it looks like. And yes, I am super excited about this package because we had quite much trouble with this one. Um, it was brought twi twice to my home. And uh, I told the seller that I didn't receive it. Apparently it was just delayed. But... After I actually talked to the customer service of the delivery um, company, apparently they just came along my home twice without leaving anything, so I couldn't know they just came. And I was super mad because they were supposed to do their job well, and they didn't. And that is actually how I might end up getting my package in some kind of a hangar somewhere, which was just impossible, so I almost, yeah, had to give up this package. And hope for another one but today well my package was successfully delivered by the same guy who brought Pennywise along last uh, last time so uh, and he knew the way he knew where he had to be so yeah thanks to that guy I could get my package today it was delivered for the third time finally in a very successful way so yeah I was quite mad and super sad Look at this. It's a hedgy. My package was already actually put in uh, in uh, in a hangar to be picked up. And I have been reading the reviews of that company. They are incredibly bad. They are better than bad. And they barely have any customer service or service to customers. They pretend a lot on their website. But their company is just, yeah, one mess. So I'm glad after all my package came. Look at this. Because a lot of people were promised that the delivery service would pass um, one more time. And actually their, their uh, wish was never granted. So um, some people just ended up waiting for someone who never came. So this is a lighter version of the um, the hedgehog. I know they made some dark versions too. Where is the, the tag? My wolf still has his tag too. Um, here it is, right under its tail. So that's why I actually just keep it uh, down there. Um, but this plush was pur purchased in a shop. A shop that had all kinds of brands. So I'm just super, super excited to see him. I couldn't expect they were go going to to come along today. I couldn't expect. Uh, I was quite. I wasn't quite sure what I would uh, would have to expect actually. Will they succeed in delivery, de delivering my package or not? I was quite nervous about it. He's so cute. Let's pack him out. 
So of course, no need to say I was super excited when my package just came today. And this guy, look how cute he is. I was, yeah, I really wanted to see him. Um, he's definitely one of my most pretty hedgehogs that I have. Together with the Douglas one, actually. I don't really know, maybe I can just, just, just try to put them together if I can find it. Here's Pom Pom. Here's Pom Pom, which is also a really neat plush. Um, I don't really know if they go so well together, but I can just try. Because they're really, they're both very natural looking. And, well, they just don't really are the same style, but still, it's, uh, it's still quite realistic. And this one is just so incredibly cuddly. Um, but enough pom-pom, let's look at this guy. So here's its tag. I don't really know which animals are shown in there. Maybe just the usual ones. No, the dog didn't select like the border collie. to give you an idea uh, let's have a look at this guy he has like a really adorable light colored muzzle I know th some other versions of this plushie have a very dark muzzle I think the one with the lighter the, lighter, the, the more fair muzzle looks a bit better also I think they did a nice job on yeah, the position of the animal and the look in its eyes so this plush I think it's really neat looking um he has like little iron wires in his in his legs and uh well he sh he's supposed to sit correctly on the back legs but the back legs might be floating a bit and um well, when it comes on the ears the, the ears should have been a bit larger pygmy hedgehogs have quite large ears actually but I really like the white finishing here around the, the head and uh, and also the, the quill section up the head. It's really well made. Um, it's just, yeah, kind of a dark brown color. So there's not much white coloring in there. Um, and this plush should be about 10 inches tall. But I think it's the size of the real thing. Um, I can imagine a pygmy hedgehog being this size. So if you have a pet hedgehog like this, just suppose that the plush might be his size. Except if your uh, hedgehog is still a baby. <laughs> but yeah, um, look at the legs, they get, they get kind of dark on the feet. And apparently mine stands up well on his back legs, so he has no floating legs. But he has like uh, a really round cream colored belly, which is quite well stuffed. I think if this would be a real hedgehog, he would be a bit too fat. The tail is missing. This, ha this plushie has no tail. And so this is the Hansa Hedgehog, and I'm so incredibly happy I have him. Uh, I have been watching this, this guy for months, and I'm super excited he came. So I was super sad when actually my package had some trouble. I never had such trouble with one package, but there he is. He came, and I'm just super excited to have him. He's adorable. Uh, and I would suggest anyone who loves Pygmy Hedgehogs just get one like this. This one, well, I had, him for, I had him for like 34 euros, which is still quite okay. It's much money for such a plush, but it just, it is a very well finished, detailed plush in good material, handmade and stuff like this. So the usual stuff for a Hansa plush. So, well, I think you won't be disappointed seeing him. I certainly hope not. Uh, but since I had so much trouble with the first package, actually, well... <laughs> You can actually guess there is a second one on its way already. <laughs> so soon there will be two of them. 
and I guess I'll just keep them both because I think they're just really neat. I love them and they're adorable. I can't just can't reject a hedgehog like this, so he's adorable, absolutely. So I just hope that the look into the eyes of your hedgehog will look quite realistic. Sometimes I think there's a bit of work to go through when it comes on the look in the eyes. Of course, this guy won't retract itself in a little hissing ball when you touch him. Um, but he's probably one of the most nature realistic like plushy hedgehogs that I have. Together with Pom Pom and some others, of course. All my hedgehogs are on top of the basket. Um, but it's just hard to find all of them right now. So I know pygmy hedgehogs can have some, yeah, some kind of a very pale or pink belly. Actually, his belly here is rather a pale yellow, cream coloring. Actually, the coloring and the fur on the side is also very well finished, and the way it actually disappears under the quill section is also well made. So this is a really neat blush. I think so. He's also pretty firmly stuffed, so he's not very squishy. This guy is more squishy, look. Just, yeah, never do this with a real hedgehog. <laughs> there you go. So this is just to show you super squishy. You can't really do this with this guy. He's kind of sturdy. He feels kind of real. Except from the soft part up here. Um, so yes, I do absolutely recommend this guy. I'm super glad I could get him. Too bad I had so much trouble. But I guess sometimes going through trouble, yeah, well, gives you a well-deserved uh, reward. And look at this guy. So, there you go. I think also here the way the quills actually stick out of the head. You have also a little part here, some material coming out. Just to make sure that you have this realistic feature with the quills coming slowly over the head. And then that little, yeah, spitz muzzle just sticking out from under the forehead, which is also super realistic. You have all the finesse of, of the, the small little muzzle of your pygmy hedgehog, which is super adorable. It is a very elegant... And it shows the shyness, actually, of, of the hedgehog. And um, it might even show a part of his temperament. Um, it is a very expressive blush. With very much detail. And I don't really know if, it's, if you're supposed to move his legs. I suggest you can just move the legs along, yes. Um... And unfortunately, I've never seen someone on YouTube unbox this guy. Or opening him or getting him. or um, So I hope after seeing this video that you might just yeah get your hedgehog a little friend like this. <laughs> or yourself maybe. It can just be the exact portrait of your pet. So I guess this is going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video guys. Well, I think I'll just hold the wolf right there. I'll just pick this guy. And I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.